Hey Mandarin, this is such great joy to share the very first news about For Redemption 2022 with a lot more to come. If you're new to this, four years ago, we launched For Redemption with four specific impact points. As the generations who declare the redemptive story of God, Psalm 145 has guided us to say a lot about the works of, of his, his hand, to proclaim his mighty acts, to speak of his splendor and his wondrous works. I mean, God has been so good to us and we would have never guessed we would walk through COVID in these past four years. And yet we have, while also holding fast to our four pillars. One of those is for a mission where we're strengthening the infrastructure every year, identifying, equipping, and developing leaders, pivoting to online and home-based worship and discipleship, and setting good patterns for really multiplying disciples. Also, we're for our campus. The worship room makeover was our first step in For Redemption a little over three years ago. We could never have guessed the impact of a flex room, movable chairs, there were so many needs on campus that have been met over the last years, um, and they just speak mission into environments, and God has been working in what we could have never seen at that point. We're also for Jacksonville, as well as the nations. We've given over $55,000 to missions for, through For Redemption alone, not including our budgetary giving. As COVID hit, we chose to double our giving to local gospel partners in order to be a stabilizing presence in an incredibly unstable time. We also are for freedom, removing the chains of debt. So four years ago, our debt was just over a million dollars. Today, our debt is 198,000. Wow, and glory to God. That information launches us into our For Redemption focus in 2022. 70% of every dollar given to For Redemption will go toward freedom from debt. Combined with our budgetary giving this year, our debt will move from Today, 198,000 to 77,000 at the close of 2022. 10% will go toward campus needs as well as beginning to develop a plan for the best use of our campus to move forward mission in the days ahead. 20% will serve 11 gospel partners in Jacksonville as well as a new North American partner. Finally, you've provided for the needs of our mission through giving toward our budget. We have strategic plans to further foster a culture of discipleship, to intentionally posture for a growth mindset, and to make space for Jesus to draw so many to himself. This is incredibly exciting as we move toward the hope and strategic plan of being a debt-free church in the next 18 months. For Redemption is not the starting point in giving. It is the posture for extreme generosity. We encourage you to first give toward our ministry budget. That's first priority. Our annual budget supports the majority of funds that are needed to mobilize the ministry flow here at Mandarin. For Redemption is the extra, the needs that are beyond. And so imagine with me, if you will, being a debt-free church in the very, very near future. The chain's gone, the focus on discipleship, the transformational stories, the waters of baptism flowing, the impact. I don't think we can ask or imagine what the Lord is doing. So this is the first step in information. You'll receive a lot more in days to come, brochures, opportunities, um, news to be shared. And we just kind of want to respond in this way, really in the Psalm 145, which is heartbeat for us, that, that we are made by the hands of the Lord and we thank Him. That we're the faithful and we bless Him. And in blessing the Lord, we will inform all people of His acts, His glorious splendor, and his name, which is Jesus, the glorious one. Yet I look forward to being a debt-free church family in 2023.